Next is question number 10.19. How the following conversions can be carried out? So they'll give a reactant and a product. You need to show how the conversions are carried out using suitable reagents that is there in our syllabus. So here the compound given is propene. So propene is CH3, CH, double bond, CH2. And you need to form propanol. propanol. So it is CH3, CH2, CH2 and OH. You need to show a conversion here. So for this, let's go step by step. We will take CH3, CH, double bond, CH2. Now, whenever you're doing a substitution to this, because you need to form a product like this, whenever we did a reaction with alkene, we have always followed a rule, Markovnikov's rule, right? And as per that rule, whenever we try to add any uh, negative part of the molecule, it will bond to this particular carbon. That was as per Markovnikov's rule. But in this product, if you see, it is forming on the other carbon over here. Now, when it forms on the other carbon, which is forming as a major product, then we are going to follow the anti Markovnikov's rule. All right. So, same thing we will follow here. We will put the reagents for anti Markovnikov's rule. HBr and H2O2. The minute peroxide comes, it will follow an anti Markovnikov's rule. So, when it happens, Br minus here, this is going to be the negative part of the molecule. So, Br minus as per the anti Markovnikov rule will go here and the H plus will go here. And a double bond will break in the center. So, we have CH2, CH2 and Br. Now, from Br, we need to replace it with OH. That is very simple because we have done SN1, SN2 mechanism, we know how to change a halide to an OH group. So in that, you just need to add aqueous KOH. The minute you add aqueous KOH, the, the compound here acts as a nucleophile. So here the OH minus will replace Br. So we get CH3, CH2, CH2 and OH plus Br will be bonded with potassium to form KBr. So this way, once you write the structure only of the reactant and product, will you have an idea how the products are forming?